Hey guys, my name is David and today we'll finally be looking at how to replace the hard drives on our ASUS VivoBook S400CA Ultrabook with a solid state drive. In this video, I'll be using a Samsung 840 series 120GB SSD. I'll also be using the Paragon free backup and recovery utility. Thanks for watching and I hope you find this video useful. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to have to do is install a backup and restore software onto our computer. There are a variety of uh, reputable software that you can use, but I'm going to use Paragon Backup and Recovery 12 Home Edition Trial in this video as it is a Windows 8 compatible software. You should also be able to use the free version of Paragon as well um, by instead using a system image of your hard drive and then doing a system restore to the new solid state drive. The only method for sure that will not work for the ASUS Ultrabook is Windows Backup Tool as it requires a certain amount of free space on each partition and the 600 megabyte recovery partition on the hard drive does not meet that requirement. If you try it out yourself, you'll get an error in the process and it's simply a lot of work to shift the partitions around to free up space and it doesn't work very well at all. So once you've installed Paragon, go ahead and start it up. We're going to select Copy and Migration, then select Hard Disk Migration, and next, select the internal hard disk, then click Next. Select the salt state drive, then click Next. Hit Yes, continue copy operation, and Next. Now if you have an SSD that's the equivalent size or larger than the hard drive, you can select Partitions Raw Copy. This option is the most ideal since ASUS has configured their partitions in a way that allows you to boot up recovery in F9, and this should, in theory, copy the hard drive exactly, sector for sector. But if you're like me, with a limited SSD size, you won't be able to do that as the drive does not fit properly on the SSD, as you can see in the hard disk copy window. So instead, just leave the default options and press next. You can see that Paragon attempts to resize everything proportionally. You can adjust the proportion resize amount, and when you're done, just hit the next button. Yes, apply the changes physically, next. And within an hour or so, the wizard will eventually copy the entire hard disk over to the SSD. Once it's complete, we can exit the wizard and move on to physically replacing the hard drive with the solid state drive. So once you've completely backed up your computer, you're going to go ahead and swap out the hard drive with the solid state drive. And then when we flip it over, I'm just going to put a little bit of padding on it so it won't scratch the top of my case. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the back. And once we're done with that, you can use either an old credit card or you can pry it off with your hands. I'm just going to take the back cover off now. Put that to the side. So we have right here the hard drive, and that's what we're going to focus on next. We're going to be taking out the four screws and swapping it out with our solid state drive. So we're first going to start with the four outside screws. Make note that these two screws on the bottom side closest to the battery are longer than the ones over here. You're just going to keep note of that um, when you put the screws back in. And once you've taken those screws out, you can easily just slip it towards the closest side of the computer and it'll just slide right out. And we have here the hard drive. What we want to do now is take off the little casing around the hard drive and there are four more screws to take out here. So we're going to go do that now. So once we've, once we've separated the two, we can actually put our hard drive aside as we won't be needing it. And we're going to put our solid state drive into this case here. 
So we're going to go ahead and place our salt day drive into the casing. Now you just have to remember that the arrows on the side here have to be pointing up towards the ceiling. And that's because of the, the pins on the side here. They have to be closest to the motherboard. So we're going to place that in, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and screw it back in. And once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and slip it back in. Just remember that the pin over here goes underneath the tab on the battery. And we're going to go ahead and screw it back in. Remember the longer screws go back into the side closest to the battery. And once that's in place, you can go ahead and put the cover back on. Go ahead and flip your computer back over. So once you've replaced the hard drive from the Ultrabook with the solid state drive, we're going to go ahead and turn it on now. It should start exactly the same as our hard drive did. And there we go, we're already onto the operating system. So you can go ahead and log in. And you should notice that everything is exactly the same. All your settings are here and everything is perfectly restored fine. And give it a restart. Final step in this process is to just map out our data drive. So we're going to go ahead and open up the file explorer. Then select the little arrow beside libraries. And select computer. So you'll notice that the C drive is mapped out and it shows us how much data we're using on that partition. But we're missing the data drive. So we're going to go ahead now and right click the bottom left of the start menu. And we're going to go open up the disk management tool. Then we're going to right click the partition right beside the C drive, then select the change drive letter and paths. We're going to click on add. Here we can assign the old drive letter D to the partition. Then we're going to click OK. We're done with the disk management tool so we can close the window. And when we look in the computer window for the available hard disk drives, you should be able to notice the new partition that we've assigned the drive letter to along with all the data that you've stored inside that partition. For those of you who are curious, I'll show you the results I get for my Windows Experience Index. So we're just going to right click the bottom left corner again, then select System. Click on Windows Experience Index and rerun the assessment. So once you've completed the test, the new subscores will be listed and you'll notice a slight improvement in graphics, but most importantly a significant improvement in the primary hard disk. For me it was an improvement from 5.9 to a 7.9. Uh, my computer also starts out very quickly and uh, it overall, it's been quite the performance improvement 
once I've replaced the hard drive with a solid state drive. 